happening guys it's a hot steamy saturday out here in uh, socal it's about 104 degrees out right now and just got done with my shift i still got my vest on i don't know why so i was scrolling on instagram on my lunch break today and uh, saw an update from ks collectibles once again they got another new joe in and it happens to be one of the most anticipated joes of the wave Shipwreck. Like I said, folks, if you guys are in the SoCal area, Inland Empire, Redland, San Bernardino, come check this place out, man. They got a bunch of goodies in here. I'm so excited because just last week I picked up scrap iron. I don't think there's a better way to end my Saturday uh, than to get a G.I. Joe shipwreck and unbox it when I get home today. So uh, let's go get it. Oh. oh my gosh, so beautiful. Oh, dang, you guys got a bunch of WWE figures in here now. What? Dang. Oh, shoot. Look at all these, man. Oh, yes. Here we have Shipwreck from the G.I. Joe Classified line. Number 70 from this new wave, which is one of the most anticipated figures from this wave. When I first started watching the Sunbow series, one of the first characters that caught my eye was Shipwreck. Shipwreck just stood out to me, man. He just seemed like a very casual guy, but at the same time, very badass. He's got the nice sailor cap going on, the blue shirt with the chest exposed, nice blue jeans. I mean, dude, the guy's a ladies, man. Look at him. This is my first time laying eyes on Shipwreck in person. Let's hope he looks as good as his photo. Oh. I dig it. I dig it. There he is right there, man. My favorite thing about action figures, man, is, is once you get them in your hand, you pull them out of the package. It just looks so much better. There's a difference there when you have them there in your hands as opposed to seeing them in pictures online. Like, it's just, it's a magical experience. So there you have Shipwreck. His jeans looking good. It has like a nice stone wash on the jeans. That's awesome, dude. I appreciate that detail. Even the chest hair. Right, moment of truth. Taking him out of the package. Wow, dude. There's that sweet box art there. Oh, the shark tattoo. So he's got his anchor tattoo there. Turning over to this sweet shark tattoo. Look at that. And then get you a little closer look at that chest hair. I gotta tell you that shipwreck, he's a beautiful man. Let's rip open his uh, box here to get his accessories out and his nice little poly bird we got going on. So the scrap iron I received, I saw that it was a gray crate, but shipwreck has a gray crate. I thought Joe's had the blue crates. So that means this wave in particular is gonna have all gray crates, right? Wow, okay, so we got uh, quite a bit of goodies here. We have this sweet little anchor going on here, which connects to this rope. Look at that. And then it also hooks on to Shipwreck's waist. Oh, dude, this sweet gun. Look at that. Let's see how he looks with his hair. Look at that handsome man. That looks a lot better with his hat, so I'm going to keep it like that. Oh, man. With this dude all pieced together with his accessories, I think he's gonna stand out much like Spirit and Freedom stand out. Here we have Shipwreck on the left side of the display. So here we have like all the Tiger Force guys here. Got the nice box display up there of Snake Eyes and Timber. Uh, some other Joes in the back there. We got Mike the Hunter himself in figure form. Looking sweet. Yeah, yeah. And uh, here we are. We got all the uh, Cobra villains here. Serpentor on top. We got Scrap Iron and his drone here. Look at that. Whew. Some troopers. And uh, the rest of the Joes over here. Pimp Daddy Destro on the side. Oh, these guys knocked over. Come on, guys. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? You guys are letting me down. We're over here just showing the G.I. Joe fans a nice display, and you're going to do this to me? All right, there you go. Falcon up there. We got Scrap Iron's box. I just I love that box, so I had to put it up there on top. We have some planes. We got two helicopters and a nice plane up there on uh, some hooks. So I thought that would be a nice touch for the G.I. Joes, just, you know, some 
We got snake eyes hanging outside of that one. Uh, for those of you who are gonna ask, where is this from? This is actually from Walmart. I got this helicopter for 20 bucks at Walmart. And then right over here, we have this sweet little corner display with the Buzz Lightyear jet that I painted. This was the Cobra jet I used in the first uh, G.I. Joe movie I did. Sweet canvas I got from Hobby Lobby for 10 bucks. It was on sale. I still have to unbox that Cobra Commander from uh, Super 7. I know I'm missing a lot of troopers. I just, I didn't want to add too much there. So uh, I just wanted to add those guys in the back and keep it looking clean, you know? Damn, Scarlet. Did you have Lucky Charms for breakfast? Because you're looking magically delicious. Chill out, shipwreck. Don't you have things to do? Hey, hey, don't worry. I'm on top of things. Would you like to be one of them? Dude, I'm just super stoked I finally have him. Like, I, I legit waited like four years for him to come out. Ever since the first wave dropped, which was back in, what, 2020? Uh, I've been dreaming for them to make a shipwreck. You're finally in my hands, and dude, you just look so cool. That's gonna be it for this quick unboxing, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely more to come as I get more figures in. Uh, still working on the bazooka film, so stay tuned, man. Comment below, what's your favorite thing about the shipwreck? Uh, what character do you want them to drop, man? Who, who are you waiting for? I know a lot of people are saying Alpine. What the hell, man? We got a bazooka. Where's our Alpine, Hasbro? And uh, don't forget to click like. That being said, folks, I hope you enjoy your figures. I hope you enjoy your families. And as always, good hunting. Peace!